So today's a little different. The video's going to be a little different today because it's mostly just going to be me talking. So <laughs> I'm actually in Maryland where I grew up and I'm right behind my old house or where my parents still live, obviously. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys where I really started to learn how to fly fish. I think I've mentioned it in a couple of videos in the past. And it's really weird because this is like kind of the first time where I feel like I've like actually grown up. That's kind of weird to say when you're 24 years old. So we actually found this guy in the basement. It's a six to seven weight. It feels more like a three or four, which is really weird. It's really light. But this is literally where I learned how to fly fish. And I'll show you and you'll probably kind of laugh, but it's in my backyard and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> so it's just this little, so it goes further down in there. It looks like crap right now, obviously. It's cold up here in Maryland. So it goes down there and then it's just this long stretch of water that just winds all back up in here and everything. We live like right over there. It's under some power lines. It's just, it's a really cool spot and it's, it's just, yeah, it's just a really cool little spot. It's where I learned how to fly fish. I literally remember standing like right, open, like right there casting a little woolly bugger. <laughs> I was casting a little tiny woolly bugger on an eight weight with like 15 to 20 pound uh, tippet and yeah, it was just a ton of fun. I'd catch a little bluegill, I'd catch like little, uh, little, I think the smallies in here, yeah, tiny little smallies, I think like the biggest fish I caught out of here was like maybe a pound if even that, probably not, and it was just so cool. This is where I like, I threw around some of my first ever like uh, hand tied flies, it's just, it's, it's just really weird how, how this spot it is still so cool and just kind of special to me. We're just gonna come up here to this little pocket and ooh, almost slipped there. Come up to this little pocket up here. So there's a pocket right in, right where that water's flowing. Right here, I'm pretty sure there's a pocket, if I can remember correctly. So we're just gonna come up here. And the water's really crappy right now. And I'm probably not gonna catch anything, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, just kind of wanted to tell you or show you guys this cool little spot that's right in my backyard where I learned how to fly fish and yeah it's just it's a really special little spot and yeah really cool little spot so I think I'm probably just gonna fish literally for like 30 minutes all the little pockets I know of and see if we catch anything but other than that I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of talking it's probably just gonna be like some random clips of me fishing this spot not catching anything probably but yeah, just wanted to kind of give you that update. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have admittedly lost my one of two flies. I'm not really mad about it though. For whatever reason, I'm just not really mad about losing a fly out here. I don't know what it is, but I'm not really mad about it. It it just, you know, I don't know, it happens. Kind of reminds me when I first ever started fly fishing back here. Good God. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just kind of remembering like all the times like where I've caught fish along here, like how it felt, like, I mean, what I was using. And it's just really cool. And I've just been having fun, like just getting nice little videos and nice little uh, clips of just how cool this little waterway is. And yeah, it's just, it's been a lot of fun, even though I'm not really fishing because I lost the one fly that would have actually, if there are any fishing here right now, would have caught a fish. I have a, a little cheap popper on me right now, which I don't really think that's gonna work all too well when it's like 50 degrees in Maryland right now and it's just yeah not gonna happen but like this is just such a cool little spot I want to show you guys like it's just it's this little freaking stream and like believe it or not there's smallmouth there's a uh, bluegill warmouth everything in here and it's just it's so cool it's behind literally hundreds of townhouses it's in my backyard there's literally a road right there there's power lines it's just really cool there's a church like it's just really cool this is probably like this hands down has to be like my favorite spot to fish the fish in here aren't crazy big or anything it's just it's such a cool little like sentimental spot and i just i absolutely love it and fingers crossed we come up north in the summertime and i actually get to fish this and actually show you guys that there are fish in here and we'll bring the like the four weight and not the not use a six or a seven or whatever the hell this is <laughs> but you know something that's actually appropriate but yeah i hope you guys like this video i yeah i kind of made this for myself to be honest with you i i don't know if that makes any sense so whenever i reference like oh where i first started to fly fish now you guys will kind of know and it's just really cool so other than that i'm probably still gonna keep making or keep uh recording footage and putting that in this video but You'll see that before this, obviously, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys subscribe and comment. 